Further cases of Russian war crimes are constantly being documented in the liberated territories of the Kharkiv Oblast. Last week, ten Russian torture rooms were located, where both women and men were interrogated. Until recently, one of them was operating in Kozachka Wapan. Here on the right is the torture cellar where the locals were interrogated. They were kept in here without food and without medical care. Since the beginning of September, the Ukrainian army has liberated over 9,000 square kilometres from Russian occupation. The spectre of Russian terror triggered a wave of emigration from eastern Ukraine, but the advancing counteroffensive by Ukrainian forces is a chance for civilians to return to their homes. I am overwhelmed by it all. We weren't home for five months. I wanted to see what happened to our house. It's terrifying. I'm still afraid to be here. I have the impression that something might explode at any moment. According to British intelligence, Russian forces have been intensifying missile attacks on civilian infrastructure for several days. Massive shooting has turned the streets of Bakhmut into a scene from a horror film. Before the war, the city was inhabited by over 70,000 people. Now those who remain are afraid to leave their homes. Russian artillery is also shelling industrial infrastructure. A nuclear power plant was the target of a Russian attack in Mykolaiv last night. Tonight, a missile fell in the Mykolaiv Oblast, 300 metres from the Pevdeno nuclear power plant. There was a short-term power cut. On its premises, windows and buildings were damaged. The invaders wanted to shoot again, but forgot what a nuclear power plant is. Russia threatens the entire world. We have to stop them before it's too late. According to the American Institute for War Studies, Russian forces have been struggling with the shortage of personnel for months and therefore are increasingly recruiting inexperienced volunteers or prisoners. They can count on a salary of over $2,500, which is three times the national average. Recruits must complete three exercises, speed, strength and endurance. After passing this exam, we will prepare documents on calling for military service. Later, the conscript comes to the military unit, is assigned to a specific division and starts his military service from that moment. The authorities in Kiev say that the Ukrainian counteroffensive will continue and that the temporary lack of progress is intentional and results from logistics. About 200 Russian soldiers died in the explosion at the former bus station. Now the building is a Russian garrison. We continue to fire at ammunition warehouses, thus preventing further Russian attacks. From now on, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia are closing their borders to Russian citizens who have Schengen visas. The authorities justify their decision by fear for national security in connection with the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Uh, we have been trying to convince Finland to come with us uh, uh, together because they will be the sole entry point and they will be under a lot of pressure uh, there. Um, I don't understand why they don't do it, because in the words, uh, I mean, the leaders of, uh, of Finland have been very vocal about this. Almost all countries bordering Russia have stopped issuing tourist visas for Russians. Finland is currently undecided. Therefore, the Finnish authorities expect a greater influx of Russians in the near future. Currently, up to 5,000 Russians arrive each day.